How is everybody doing today? It is Jason, your strength and confidence coach, and it is now the fourth essential habit already. So we've already went over the three, sleep, your, your vegetable and protein intake, and your strength training, right? So hopefully by this point, you've already started to implement some of those things. Now we can talk about one of my favorites, which is essential habit number four, hydration. And the reason why I say it's my favorite, for those of you who don't know, maybe some of you have been following me for a while and know about drink your water, right? Make sure that you always hashtag drink your water. If you ever take a photo of you drinking water and you put that hashtag, you know that I'm going to go over there and comment and like on it. So if you want to get a little bit interactive, feel free to use that hashtag. But today we're going to talk about the importance of hydration, the importance of drinking your water, how to get more of it inside of your diet so that way you'll actually be able to access all of the amazing benefits of hydration. And the reason why I'm talking about this is that most people do not drink enough water. And it's actually a huge impact on your fat loss progress. So first off, let's list a couple of the benefits here and I'll go a little bit in detail on it. So you have a faster metabolism. Actually, your metabolism can be up to 60% slower if you are in a dehydrated state. So you definitely want to make sure that you're drinking enough water so that way your metabolism is at its peak. You're able to burn the most amount of calories in a day, which is going to make your diet and your fat loss phase a lot, lot easier. So next up is that you'll have stronger muscles. Again, you can be up to 60% weaker if you do not have the, excuse me, the proper hydration levels. You see, Muscles are filled with this thing called glycogen, right? And glycogen is water and carbohydrates together. It makes your muscles more full. It gives you a more full look. It makes you stronger. So we know that we want to have those stronger muscles, those more appealing muscles, no matter what you're trying to do, you know, because as you learned in the previous videos, you want to have a faster metabolism by having bigger and stronger muscles. So that's going to make your diet a lot easier. Less cravings. Most people, they go in for the sweet tooth or maybe they're feeling a little bit of hunger, which here it controls your appetite a little bit. You know, most of the time that is the reason of being dehydrated. And because people don't drink enough water throughout the day by the time like maybe nighttime goes around or they have a break at lunch. And those are just some examples that I've run into with clients. Maybe your thing is a little bit different, but you know, you reach in for that candy, you reach in for that quick pick me up. You might actually just need to drink a little bit more water and hydrate yourself up. You might just be dehydrated, which is why you're getting those cravings and why you're getting so hungry. So make sure that you do drink that water for those benefits. Let's talk a little bit about how to actually drink more, right? Because what good is this information if we're not able to actually apply it? So having a gallon or some sort of container is always the easiest thing to do. You should be drinking around a gallon of water per day, especially if you're active, that could even be a little bit higher. You know, uh, I've known that a lot of clients, they like to carry around one of those like liter containers and they'll try to drink anywhere between three and five of those liter containers every single day. I find the gallon is pretty easy, so I just make sure that I drink a gallon a day. Schedule it. When do you want to drink more water? Think about it right now. Let's say you're looking at your day right now and you're thinking, man, I don't really drink a lot of water, right? First thing right off the bat is to drink more water in the morning, to drink more water with each meal, and to drink water after especially your last meal. So those are going to be probably the best times for you to schedule it, but you have to take a look at your own schedule. When can you fit it in? Maybe it's during your lunch break. Maybe you get like a 15 minute break at work. Maybe you want to do it in the morning if that works best for you. You should be drinking water every single morning than when you first wake up. But you want to be able to have an idea about when you're going to drink it, right? Flavor it. Flavoring it is absolutely something that can be used as a little bit of a technique for people who have a hard time getting enough water in. So if you don't really drink a lot of water now, you may not like the taste of water, flavor it with a Mio or a Crystal Light or some sort of like zero calorie flavoring and you'll be able to get a little bit more water. You shouldn't always do that. It could be like a nice little stepping stone so that way you get into the habit of drinking more water. Then of course you can pair it with food. Every time you have a meal, drink enough water. Drink a glass of water every time you eat before a meal and even after a meal and you'll be able to get the most out of your appetite. And then just a quick little note here that most people do not drink enough, meaning water. Remember, every time that you're hungry or sleepy, 
drink water before you do anything else. So a lot of people, they once they start getting tired, they start getting hungry, they kind of give up, they have some cravings, you know, they kind of, you know, maybe they have like a little bit of chocolate or something like that. Instead, go and make your mind think when it's time for the pick-me-up, when it's time for the little snack or when it's time for, you know, the little nap. Drink some water with it. You may still have those cravings. You may still feel sleepy. But the fact that you're hydrated, whatever it is that you're going to do is going to be a lot less intense. So let's say you have some hunger cravings and you're going to have a little bit of sweets. If you drink water with it or before it, you'll significantly decrease the amount that you eat. And that's especially useful for people who tend to overeat a little bit, which when we are talking in the realm of fat loss, there could definitely be some bad habits of yours that are contributing to the fat gain that you've been experiencing over the past however many months or years that you've had this excess fat on, right? So I, I know for me, I when I was really overweight, and you know, there's definitely still a struggle here and there about overeating, but most of the time it's in control. You wanna be in control of that overeating, you wanna be in control of what you put into your body. So that's pretty much gonna be it for today on hydration. What I want you guys to do is start to work on three things, right? Three things are gonna help you increase your water intake. When you first wake up in the morning, make sure that you drink a significant amount of water. In fact, as much as you can. I like to drink anywhere between two and three big glasses of water. And I mean, each glass must be about 25 to 30 ounces. So I already try to get in like 50 ounces and quick. I do a lot of sports, so I, I need to get that water in. For you, maybe a glass to start is a great way to begin. Then what I want you to do is start having a glass of water with every meal. If you can have one before and one after, that's even better. But for now, focus in on trying to have water with every single meal. And then every single time that you feel sleepy or hungry, you make it an automatic response to drink water and you will get all of the hydration that you need. And over time, eventually this habit will stick through and you'll never have to worry about drinking enough water again. So. That's going to be your little assignment for today. That is the full understanding of the essential fat loss habit number four for hydration. And I'm really looking forward to showing you guys the fifth and last one coming up. So make sure you go and drink your water. Put that hashtag up. Post it up on Instagram and tag me in it. And you will be getting the magic of my likes and comments. <laughs> but I seriously, definitely going to help out a lot of people drink their water. It's become a funny joke between me and some people and some friends and a part of the fitness community. So get out there, drink your water, and this is Jason, your Strength and Confidence Coach, signing out.